News. There's a disturbing trend when it comes to health. There's been a drastic drop in the number of breast cancer screenings since the start of the pandemic, and that's concerning because early detection is key. And as Team Falls Tresha Hendricks tells us, doctors are worried the resurgence of COVID could lead to more delayed or canceled screenings. The numbers were 80 to 90 percent down. More than a third of adult Americans missed regular cancer screenings last year. We're still way behind. And as the pandemic shifts into new territory, MDVIP in internal medicine Canada physician Dr. Larry Gassner now. says it's time for everyone to get back into the doctor's office. It is time to come back. The risk is not zero, but we're talking relative risk. The relative risk now is low enough that it's time to come back, especially if you follow certain relatively simple precautions. Keep in mind, most women diagnosed with breast cancer have no family history and no symptoms, which is why mammograms are crucial. Dr. Gastner says if cancer isn't detected early, it's much harder to treat. Delaying a screening by six months to a year can dramatically change the outlook for patients in the early stages of cancer. It's also important to pay attention to timing. If you plan to get your COVID vaccine around the same time as your mammogram, let your doctor know. Because what the COVID vaccine does is stimulate your immune system and can cause lymph nodes on the side of the body where you got the vaccine to be reactive, which can show up as an abnormal mammogram. Because of this, he says it's best for women to schedule their mammogram at least six weeks after getting vaccinated. You want to skip the drama of getting the abnormal mammogram reading. But not much longer. The longer you wait, the harder it is to treat. You know, unfortunately, the more advanced the cancer could be. Bottom line. Our recommendations are that it's time to come back now. In Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.